Hey guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this does not work. Okay, you know yesterday, I said enough is enough with just the same stupid comments about my quarterback. And I said, if you're going to talk about the trash my quarterback, at least have your stats together. You know, we had one person in there saying, he, yeah, he's throwing 140 yards a game. Yeah, okay. Right. That's it. You're 100% right on that one. And so his comeback to that is, what? You're not comparing Matt Ryan to Dak Prescott anymore because Dak sucks? Well... To make you happy, because I love to argue, I love to debate, let's take a look at what Dak has done in his career so far. He is in his second, excuse me, third season, a little over halfway there. Forgive me, I'm working because I got a day job. And in that time, Dak Prescott, career numbers are 56 touching, uh, touchdown passes, 22 interceptions, and 15 rushing TDs. That's a total of 71 touchdowns. We're not finished with the third year, so that's averaging over 25 touchdowns a year. Interceptions, 22. Not, not, not exactly that bad. I mean, we've had seasons where you're looking at quarterbacks having 22 in one season. His QBR, even though after that Atlanta game last year, his numbers have been crap. I'll be the first to admit it. You know, he's had games that are well under 200 yards and just has not been there. But even with that, his QBR is 94.4 career wise. Not exactly the worst numbers, like you guys said. We compare that with Matt Ryan. And the only fair comparison of Matt Ryan and Dak Prescott actually is first three years of Matt Ryan. Because Matt Ryan, let, let's go through the numbers now. Let, let's do apples to apples. Matty Ice, his first three years, 66 touchdown passes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, Dak has 56. We have seven more games. Currently, he's averaging about a touchdown pass and a half a game. It's conceivable that he gets to the 66 touchdown passes. Interceptions-wise, Matty Ice had 34. So Dak would have to throw 12 interceptions over the course of the next seven games. That's not really where his average is. So I think he'll probably end up with less um, interceptions. And, by the way, his QBR, Matty Ice, was 86 his first three years. Dax is 94. So if you're looking at the numbers and comparing them, I'm not saying that he's going to end up being the NFL MVP. But the numbers, believe it or not, Dak Prescott has better ones than Matt Ryan starting out. And if you go back and look at Troy Aikman's numbers, you go back and look at Aaron Rodgers' numbers, and you look at Tony Romo's numbers. Oh, Tony Romo didn't start his first three, four years. Dak has actually better numbers. So before you guys say, forget this guy, understand, nobody starts out as a rookie like Joe Montana. And with a lack of coaching, and this year a lack of weapons early, there is no go-to guy when the plays are breaking down. No security blanket. Clearly we had just a bunch of guys until we got Amari Cooper two weeks ago. Still playing pretty good. Is there room for improvement? Yes, there is. Oh, and one more thing. Matt Ryan, because everybody talks about playoff wins and everything else, because Dak Prescott actually, against the Green Bay Packers, had three touchdown passes. Three touchdown passes. Over 300 yards. Fortunately, we lost to the bad man. You know how many victories Matt Ryan had in his first four playoff games? Zero.
balls in your court. I'm Mark Holmes at my day job, and I'll see you guys soon.